I'll be honest, I've never purchased one million of anything, but there's a first time for everything. Let's go. What's up, Coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. This video is a part of my clownfish breeding series, kind of my trials and tribulations as I go along here. So if you want to follow along in the journey, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. I gotta say, I've learned so much when it comes to breeding clownfish so far, and the deed hasn't even been done yet. To caveat, I have never done this before, so I'm a total newbie, and if you've never done this before, then come along, let's learn together. And if you are a breeder, and you've successfully bred marine fishes, please, would love your input in the comment section below. Maybe you've got some tips, maybe you've got some tricks, maybe I'm doing something completely wrong and you wanna head that off at the pass, that's where you go, the comment section below. Today, we're gonna talk all about rotifers. It's the first food offered to clownfish larvae when they hatch. In the last video, we went through all of the materials that I would need to successfully start a rotifer culture. Well, that all arrived. Flashback. All right, so here we go with a quick unboxing. The reef nutrition stuff for the rotifers arrived today. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, get it all out, see what's inside. One of the things that did change on this was the actual uh, culture kit. So they're trying out some new filters at reef nutrition. So Chad said that he would send one along to just kind of see if I liked it. So, hey, I have no experience with this. I'm going with the expert's opinion, so we're gonna try that out. So here's the, the TDO hobbyist pack right there. So we've got all of the different sized pellets for once the clownfish start getting on prepared food. This is the sieve, and then I think these are the two filters that we'll use. So essentially, it's a hang on the back filter, but for a bucket. So it comes with a submersible pump, the actual hang on the back filter. You get some rotifer floss for detritus and other stuff that ends up in your culture. I think this is the actual rotifers. This will need to be kept refrigerated. This is the Rody Green Omega. Whole cell microalgae formulated for green water applications. Bag of rotifers. You can just see thousands of little critters in here. And then I did order a couple more bottles of RG Complete which is, I guess, similar to the Omega. This completes the unboxing of Rotifer. So let's go ahead and get this going into the culture. Tomorrow. Here's the Rody Clean in action. This is actually an interesting design because the pump down here actually doesn't harm the Rotifers at all. So it gives you the option to use filter floss inside this chamber here for a cleaner culture. And that's what you're going for. You want this culture to be as clean as possible so that you have a strong rotifer population. So I just added about four or five milliliters of RG complete to set up the culture and feed them for the first time. And then I'll just follow the instructions. So all of this stuff came with detailed instructions from Reef Nutrition. So I'll just monitor the culture over the next three days see how this thing grows. I'm excited. End of flashback. So it's been about three days since I introduced the rotifers to the bucket. As instructed, I'll remove about 20% of the culture and then harvest the rotifers with a sieve. So in this case, that's a little less than a gallon. I'm working about 4.2 gallons as instructed as well by Reef Nutrition. Now, according to Reef Nutrition or Reed Mariculture, this will keep the culture young and vibrant. So each cup of water that I put through the sieve will capture more rotifers as we keep doing this. Here's the water that's going to be discarded. We'll go ahead and replace that with new fresh water. And then in the sieve, you can see, see that kind of gold down at the bottom? Those are all rotifers. So we will go ahead and remove those and refill the water. But I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was so cool. So in the future, I can move these rotifers to a new culture. I can start a secondary 
culture, I can move them to a fry tank, or I can always use them as supplemental feed for the reef tanks. Now I will say, rotifer culturing isn't the most hands-off thing you can do. There's a little bit of maintenance that you need to do on a daily and a weekly basis. So every day, especially with the Rotaclean uh, hang on the back filter, you're gonna wanna scrape all the organic stuff that kind of accumulates on the bucket surface. It's suggested to use a hard bristled brush, like a toilet brush or something like that. Uh, obviously clean, brand new. You don't wanna use a used toilet bowl brush in your culture. And that'll get all the organic matter kind of floating in the water column and then will be sucked up by the hang on the back filter go through the mechanical filtration and your culture will be happier for it. And of course, you'll want to feed the culture every day. I'm feeding about three or four milliliters twice a day to my culture. And then every week, you'll wanna remove that filter and go ahead and spray it out with some fresh water. Make sure that you get all the stuff, all the crud that's building up in the actual like housing of the filter on a weekly basis. So far, that's where I'm at with rotifers. I know this is super specific content and unfortunately this is just one of those necessary things that we need to talk about to make sure that when the clownfish do spawn and we do have larva that we're ready for it. So learning how to culture uh, rotifers before you even have uh, a clutch or eggs to take care of can only benefit you in the long run. It's possible you don't even have clownfish in your care right now, or they might be really young and not even ready to spawn yet, but learning how to culture rotifers is just one of those things that could be beneficial down the road. As this is an ongoing series, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Today was a very exciting day for me. I got asked to do something that I've always wanted to do, and I will share that with you in the near future. But in the meantime, just wanna give a shout out to Rachel. You may know her on Instagram as Rachel's Reap. She just accepted a position with Ocean State Aquatics. She's gonna be taking pictures of coral that you'll be able to buy. Yes, you heard me correctly. Corals will soon be available on the website to buy from Ocean State Aquatics. They gotta get all their ducks in a row and one of those pieces of the puzzle was having a talented photographer be able to take the onslaught of pictures that it needs to put coral up on a website, catalog it, all that. Rachel's gonna be perfect for this job. And Scott Crow, well, he's okay too, I guess. Be on the lookout for all the new things on the OSA socials. I just wanna try something out real quick. Alexa, play music for sexy time. Here's a personalized sexy time station based on your listening history oh. on Amazon Music. All right, guys, Auntie Remy is here. Just wanted to let you know that I've got all the food ready for all your babies. I'm here to take care of whatever you want to, you know, produce. Whenever you want to lay in that clay pot, stay safe. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>